What's going on, fam? It's the Entertainer Motivator Educator Lucky Murray here, back with another Gamecock News update. Today I'm on my phone. Uh, wasn't in my studio today. Wife is uh, having a conference, so I couldn't record what I really wanted to record. But I need you to do three things. One, check out my new blog in the comment section below. I explain why I think that South Carolina will go 6 6 this year. It's called The Lucky Report. You don't want to miss it. Every week I'm going to be dropping some information about sports take the game cock so the lucky report man click on the link below read it let me know what you think two subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed to the channel if you subscribe share if you're not subscribed if you subscribe hit the notification bell notification bell like you know every time i drop a video so let's get it to this man i want to talk about my man dear carry on join him, man i've been telling y'all if you've been following my channel you know i spoke highly of the carry on joiner i said the boy is special we need to give him more touches you know, and I think that he 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 could have been a really wild card. The, the guy has it all. The guy can run, he can throw, he can pass. We should be trying to give him the ball. Marcus Statterfield has been speaking highly of him. Recently, I did a video about this where he could compare it. He talked about the carry on DK, as he called him, having an unbelievable spring practice. But he compared him to one more person. Curtis Samuel. Formal wide receiver for the Carolina Panthers, now of the Washington football team. And I think it's a very, very, very good comparison. Here's why. Curtis Samuel, I believe he went to Ohio State. Do not crucify me in the comment section below if I got it wrong, because I may have got it wrong. But he went to Ohio State, um, played running back, was drafted to the Panthers, right? Uh, brought out, it was a wide receiver. Now... Uh, last year was his truly breakout season. Why? Because they had him at the running back position. They had him at the wide receiver position. They had a little bit of wildcat. The Carolina Panthers used Curtis Samuel in every single thing. And that's why Ron Rivera, man, shout out Ron Rivera, man, had to bring Curtis Samuel to Washington. So, what to carry on joining? And, and, and Marcus Statterfield, who coached last year the Carolina Panthers, linked him up. How this is important, I'm going to tell you why. Because it seemed like the carry on joint is going to have a big role in the offense this year. The man has incredible talent. It's no reason, it's no wonder why he won Mr. South Carolina. He was a quarterback. And, and, and I, had, I had a brother come up here and was like, yo, the carry on joiner uh, didn't get a shot because he's black. I don't think it was because of that, to be honest with you. I think he had a shot. But I think that. A quarterback in high school and a quarterback in college is two different quarterbacks. Some people can make the transition and make it well. The carry-on joiner did not have to stay at South Carolina. He could have went to any other school if he felt like he wanted to prove himself when it came to being a quarterback. I do not think it was because of the color of his skin. I truly believe that the carry-on joiner's skill sets does not equal NFL on the next level. I give an example. Um, um, my man, my man, what's God dog play for Ohio State? Terrell Pryor, right? Played quarterback at high school, played Ohio State, played NFL. People was not going to give him an opportunity at quarterback. He thus had to change his position because his skill set equate more as a receiver than it did as a quarterback. Now, if Terrell Pryor would have had an opportunity in college to switch his position and truly began to really understand what a receiver was all about versus being athletically gifted, he would have still been in the lead today. I think he had at Cleveland one time. I think at Cleveland he had a, a thousand yards receiving that year. I think he went to the Jets. I forgot where he went to and his career went mm, took a nose dive. But and again, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. I think it's an absolutely great thing that the carry on joiner right now is getting the opportunity to be a wide receiver because I think that's the best position that he has in order to make it to the next level. We don't want these guys from South Carolina just to stay in South Carolina just because or a prior thing like, well, let me go down to a D2. Let me go down to a small school to play quarterback and show them. There are some guys. Who haven't gotten the opportunity that transfer and balled out? Justin Fields is one of the examples. Um, who else? Who else? It's a, it's a, well, that's the most recent guy. But 
who says the transfers work? Look at Jake Bentley. Jake Bentley's on his third school in three years. South Carolina, Utah, now he's in the school at Alabama. Okay? So, I think that this is a great thing for the carry on Jordan, man. I am excited. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to watch the spring game. You know why? Because I love football, baby. But here's what I need to do, man. Write in the comment section below, man. What do you think about the carry on Jordan, man? Are you hyped up? Are you believing the hype? Comment in the comment section below. Also, man, check out the Lucky Report, man. Every week I got a blog, and I'm explaining to you why South Carolina will go on no, 6 and 6. I think we're going to go 6 and 6. In the comment section below, get us an entertainer, motivated, educated, Lucky Murray. Back with another game caught news update. And yes, the carry on Jordan is compared to Curtis Samuel. I think it's something there. I think it's something there. Let me know what you think about the comment section below. Check out the blog. Until next time, people.